So today we're going to be showing you how to do our manifolds. Our manifolds, they get pretty hot. Our engine, we coated that with an engine enamel that's up good for up to 550 degrees, but VHT, very high temperature, flame proof, this coating goes up to 2000 degrees. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and give this a light, we're going to give it a scuff with our wire brush, and then we're going to come back and we're going to prep spray it just to get all this loose rust off there and get it as smooth as possible. That'll allow for a nice even coat of paint. And then we'll come back and we'll use our VHT flame proof gray primer. And then for the top coat, we're going to use VHT's new cast, cast iron. What that'll do is it'll help offset and look a little bit different than our yellow engine that we painted. So let's go ahead and get started. So for our manifolds, we got them scuffed. We've got as much rust off as possible, and now we're ready to lay down our primer. This primer will be great for this application because we got, we got it down to the bare metal in some cases, but also the primer will really help make sure that our top color looks its best. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the primer on. When applying the primer, it's always good to do two light coats followed by one medium coat and wait 10 minutes in between. Using two light coats will help ensure that you don't have any runs or sags and it'll build it up instead of just spraying it on heavy. So we let our primer dry for about an hour and we're ready to lay down our top coat. For the top coat, we're gonna use our VHT flame proof cast iron. This is gonna look really nice and offset that engine. So when applying our top coat, we're gonna follow the same process we did for the primer. Two light coats followed by one medium coat with 10 minutes in between. And this will be dry to touch in about an hour. So we just finished up our medium coat. This will be dry to touch in about an hour and it'll be ready to be handled in about three hours, but I'm gonna go ahead and set these aside and let them dry overnight before we go and put it back on. Now that you've seen how well our Flame Proof project turned out, head to our Facebook page and show us what you can do. And if for more information on Flame Proof or any other VHT products, visit our website. And stay tuned as we continue to work on our 1972 Plymouth Satellite.